I think it's been a fairly long, drawn-out process over the last few years. We've sort of, sort of spoken about some of the things that we needed to do, and um, there were different uh, views as to which way we should go, so we sort of tossed that around a bit. I think going back probably uh, 12 months ago, we sort of decided we needed to do something, and it was probably made about that time. The drivers for our change are inefficiencies. Um, basically, um, you know, all these innovations and software enable us to eliminate them and make them um, better. So that's the main driver, as well as being able to add value to the clients. Like there's so many um, solutions out there that can really add value to the client, make your job uh, quicker and easier, and, and actually get information to the client much, um, much quicker and in a much better quality. I think with any change, mostly staff are usually very hard to please because they have to actually learn something new. But one of the easiest ones which we went with was of course the um, Sync Direct solution. That was uh, pretty much a no-brainer in terms of really um, showing the, the staff how, that, uh, how something like that and something more innovative could be um, to their advantage rather than going the old way that we were doing um, uh, you know, accounts and getting information from clients. So we're getting feedback from the from the people who were having to do it the old way and, and getting some positive feedback as to how it's now actually working and beneficial for them. So some of that would be, for example, our process around um, getting client work out to clients once the job's finished. We now use virtual cabinet and, and the process system in there to actually manage that through the office rather than the old way that we used to do it. But you need to have almost every director on board before you launch off into something like this because it does end up impacting on a lot of, a lot of areas including productivity and, and uh, you know, deliverables that, uh, that maybe um, are impacted. So everyone needs to understand what the journey is and where we're looking to get to. So they really need to plan and really explain what we're trying to achieve and the reasons for doing it and then launch off at that point. I think the key message with rolling out any change or innovation is plan and constantly review that plan. Um, I think another really good tip is have an issues list that's accessible to the whole um, team um, and you, you make sure you're resolving all those is issues, you know, if it's to be with Reckon, if it's to do with internally a to-do list, it's just something that I think when you're rolling out these huge project, projects can get really out of hand. Um, with how many things, little things. One of the things we learned was don't, yeah, don't give up. There's going to be hurdles and barriers and that sort of thing, but just work around them because the end benefits outweighed, you know, outweigh that. I think what sets us apart is that we are innovative and that's enabled us to continue to, to move on ahead and, and change with the times and, uh, and still remain relevant. And we are a client-focused uh, organisation.